Okay, so we have one of our patients from last week, and uh, you said you had very little pain? Very little pain. <laughs> so one very of our patients pain. last week. <laughs> Just wanna make sure I got that in the video. Um, but the question arises, every time I eat even the least little bit, a sip of liquids? Yeah, a lot of burping. I get a lot of burping. So what's going on with that? What's up with that? Okay. Again, remember what happened last week. You fell asleep, a masked man snuck in with a spear, stabbed you five times, grabbed a hold of your stomach, crushed it, stapled it, and sewed it. Okay. Now you notice when you have little bits to eat or drink, it kind of bothers the stomach. Yeah, and we, we think again, if, I, if you had a broken finger last week, when you used your hand, if it hurt, you wouldn't be surprised because you say, oh, I had a broken finger last week. Your surgery was Thursday, today is Tuesday. It's not too surprising that when you try and use that new stomach that I created with the staple gun and the stitches, if it's a little reticent to go back to work, if it, if it, if it fusses, if it gives you symptoms of different kinds. Because all around the world, 12 years ago, when I said you could ha do the surgery and go home the next day and start eating right away, uh, people got very upset. They said, no, you have to be in hospital for a week and you can't have anything to eat for a week because your stomach is going to be upset. So what you're seeing as far as that kind of burping and the sensitivity and things like that is just healing of a traumatized, damaged, hurt little stomach. It's just trying to get better. And you keep using it. If you had a broken ankle and you kept walking on it, you wouldn't be surprised if it hurt. So you have a broken stomach that's trying to heal and you keep using it. You keep telling it, do your job stomach and swallow and eat and things like that. And the little stomach's going, <laughs> somebody just, <laughs> and you're saying, well, so uh, a little bit of burping and discomfort and trouble swallowing is understandable and that should get better. Yeah, but no trouble swallowing, um, like no nausea, anything like that. It's just after taking a couple of bites, you just have to burp a couple times and then the, it's not even any pain, it's just kind of discomfort and then it goes away and it's fine. Right, and that's four days after surgery? <laughs> okay. So. so I can take it, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, and so all we're saying is, it's kind of under, it, it, it's good to ask about it, yeah. it's kind of expected, because if you think about it, we took your hammer out and, and we took your hammer, we took your stomach out and hit it with a hammer. Right. So it's a little upset. It will take a couple of days to kind of normalize. But you also said something else, you said it took a couple of bites. Yeah, very little amount. It's yeah. I like baby spoon bites. Yeah, but if you don't do bites, but do bite. Okay. Sometimes bites is too much right now. Right. Even baby spoon bites plural may cause trouble where baby spoon bite singular may be okay. Okay. It seems unreasonable, but that's your new stomach. And okay. it's still healing, it's still swollen, it's still resulting in the trauma, it's still recovering from the trauma that it had the other day. Right. Okay, cool. Other questions?